In this section, we're going to deal with auxiliary braking systems. Probably the mat daddy of all braking systems, in addition to the factory system on the truck, is a unit called a Telma. I see these regularly on uh, rescue vehicles, especially ones that are used in urban areas. It's a European design, and you will find most of these uh, in Europe on the big heavy vehicles. In fact, they're required in most urban areas. But there is nothing like the stopping power of a Telma. It actually uses electromagnetism to slow the vehicle down and creates quite a bit of heat, which is what the cooling vanes are all about. It sits in the middle of the drive shaft. The front drive shaft goes to the transmission, and the rear drive shaft goes to the rear end. And so you have a direct link to the rear wheels, which are the loaded wheels on the truck. In this section, I'm going to discuss auxiliary braking. We will give an overview of the Telma. We will give an overview of the uh, exhaust brake system. And we will also show how to install trailer brake system onto your Power Stroke diesel truck so that you can effectively stop your trailer. Now, obviously, not everybody needs a Telma. And it's the one downfall to the Telma is it's terribly expensive. Uh, and the installation is difficult. So it's, it's an expensive install. On, com on commercial vehicles and uh, public service vehicles, you know, that's one thing. They're spending the taxpayers' money, so it's no big deal. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to pull a heavy trailer all the time and you know that your truck is going to be loaded and you're in a, especially in the mountainous region, you can justify the cost of the Telma by the, the uh, decreased use of the brakes on the truck. Brakes are expensive on a power stroke diesel. You know, to put good brakes on a truck with rotors and all, you can spend a lot of money. Uh, and over time, you can justify the cost of the Telma uh, by not having to do so many brake jobs. The Telma unit is located in the middle of the drive shaft. There's a shortened rear drive shaft and a shortened front drive shaft that comes from the transmission. And generally, you can expect to have to mount the thing somewhere just past the back of the cab. That's where you'll find the most room. Not a whole lot of modification involved. Uh, it was harder on the earlier model trucks with the uh, dual fuel tanks. We, are, we would have to eliminate a fuel tank on the front side. But with the modern vehicle, the modern power stroke uh, has its fuel tank behind the rear axle, so it's not an issue. As the vehicle travels down the road, the Telma spins with the drive shaft. It rides on bearings inside the inner shaft. The Telma uses sealed bearings inside to roll with the drive shaft and under normal operating conditions there's very little drag but as the brake pedal is pressed and this is traveling it creates a negative ma magnetic field that works against the magnets and these two wheels opposing each other as the electromagnetism is applied the Telma creates a tremendous amount of heat that's dispersed through the cooling vanes like I said before, there is no auxiliary braking system that even comes close to rivaling a Telma. A Telma is fantastic and it will be dependable for many, many years. In fact, you probably, when you trade the truck in, will move it from one truck to another. In our auxiliary braking lecture here, we've already talked about the Telma. If you want to know more information about Telma, log on to www.telmausa.com. This will give you all the information you'd ever want to know about this particular device. Uh, like I say, they're used in many rescue vehicles, especially in urban areas, for safety reasons and whatnot. And they will greatly increase the life of your brake pads on your truck. The next item we need to talk about is an exhaust brake, uh, or jake brake. And if you've ever heard a truck go down the road and go bop, 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 you know, that's, that's actually a jake, where it makes that real loud noise. And in essence, what an what a exhaust brake does, it uses a controller, but what it does, let me zoom in on that just a little bit for you. In essence, what an exhaust brake does is this would be your exhaust coming in here and exhaust going out to the, your down tube here. It just closes the exhaust coming out as you ride against the engine. It will actually choke the engine down. Uh, and it, you know, it's controlled by how hard you're pressing on the brake pedal and whatnot. And then you know, once you let up off the brake, it'll open back up and off you go. But it, this is basically just the old banana up the tailpipe trick. The, uh, this particular one's a BD engine brake, BD performance, and it uses a, uh, a module here that hooks into your, obviously your brake pedal, and it hooks into your torque converter lockup on your automatic transmission. Now, the exhaust brake is a, is a pretty good setup. I don't like them uh, with automatic transmissions. I've seen automatic transmissions come unraveled using these things. 
uh, because you're using the whole, you're basically locking the converter and have a solid, like the clutch is out on a stick shift truck. On a stick shift truck, an exhaust brake is a, is a wonderful thing with a six speed or five speed. The exhaust brake works fantastic, but I don't recommend using an exhaust brake with an automatic transmission. It puts a lot of extra heat and stress on the automatic transmission. Uh, the exhaust brake is considerably cheaper than a Telma. Uh, and it's not as difficult to install and doesn't require a modification of the drivetrain. They're available for many different uh, companies. Uh, get on the internet, take a look. They're all about the same. I mean, it just, you know, it just chokes down your exhaust. I mean, that's basically what it does. It has an electronic module to help you do that. Now, the last and most common way of, you know, adding an auxiliary braking system is with electric trailer brakes. Now, we're going to talk about electric trailer brakes. They're a relatively simple design. And uh, we're going to show how to install electric trailer brakes on your Power Stroke diesel truck. Now, obviously, before an electric trailer brake package on your truck will be effective, then your trailer has to be equipped with trailer brakes. I think any trailer that, that uh, carries over about 5,000 pounds dual axle trailers or triple axle trailers will have the electric brake package on them. Um, and obviously, if the, if the trailer is not equipped with the electric brakes, this isn't going to help you any. It has to be equipped with it and wired for it. Now we're going to look at the different components involved with equipping your truck to be used with electric trailer brakes. Uh, it, the, the truck has an integrated system already in it. The wiring is mostly all done. It's just a matter of adding a few parts to making it work. Let me show you what those are. Number one, you've got to have the plug and socket for equipping the truck with trailer brakes. This particular type of plug is a standard seven prong plug. Equip it to the back of your truck and it also has a provision for carrying the flat four trailers too that don't require trailer brakes. Uh, you can expect to pay about 25 bucks for this particular component in your trailer brakes. The next component is the actual brake controller. This one mounts underneath the dash, it's digital, and it has a little knob on the side that will allow you to adjust up and down how much braking power you need. If you're, you're on the flat land, you don't need quite as much and it's dragging the tires. It'll tear up your tires on your trailer now if you have it set too high. But if you're coming down out of the mountains or if you're in an urban area, you might want to turn it up just a little bit to, to scare off the, uh, the Hondas that are too close to you in traffic. The other component you buy from Ford. This kit comes with a plug that goes underneath the dash with some instructions that hooks directly to your controller and two fuses and two relays. This is the factory Ford installation kit to put trailer brakes on their truck. Other than this basic wiring, there is nothing more that you need to install trailer brakes on your truck. Let me demonstrate how it works.